Hi, welcome back to another Timeless Tuesday. Today, as you can see, we are outside in the wilderness, soaking it all in, okay? I know it's been a while, and I'm very sorry for that. Your boy's busy, okay? What else can I say? I've just been busy. I'm not gonna give you excuses, you don't need them. What I am gonna do is give you another beautiful Timeless Tuesday episode, okay? So let's welcome our guest. You've seen him on my vlogs. You've seen him in a movie. His name is Brennan Michael Weiner. Come on in, guys. Let's take the name out. How are you doing? How are you doing? That's good to be here. Thank you. No, it's really good. I, I'm glad you're here. Well, thank you. Personally. Yeah, that's no, a lot of fun. The audience, I don't know how they're feeling right now. Well, I'm Brennan. Well, okay, let's <laughs> that's, that's not intro with that, shall we? But, uh, all, right, all right, we'll cut that out. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Just leave that in for you. Make you look like a weirdo. You edit these, right? I do a little bit. Okay, yeah. I do more so than I did uh, yeah. season one. Yeah, no, I agree. You know, a lot of, a lot of blurs that you gotta do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> Oh, I would've done that. <laughs> well, I'll try to <laughs> All those are bleep now. Well, I will keep mine to a minimum because my grandma watches this. No, I don't know. I don't even watch these, so I don't know. <laughs> you don't watch them. Yeah, you know, he... He tried to, he tried to pull that one on me, and he missed. Put a dog he missed over that. there. I think so, yeah. Okay, I'll keep that down over there. <laughs> All right, let's just keep going, keep going, keep going. And uh, yeah, you know, Brennan, what are we, what are we talking about today? Honestly, I. Oh wait, you know what, dude? We didn't jump into the intro. What's the intro? <laughs> the, do, do you not watch these? <laughs> I'm really beginning to think that you don't watch these. <laughs> You're five minutes, let me go watch them. Okay. <laughs> Yo, you go watch it, and I'll... Uh, oh, good. I I'll, do uh, watch them, okay? I just... I'm a busy guy, all right? Let me yeah. watch the intro to one sure, of these videos. Okay. <laughs> one intro. Yeah, Jesus. Just, Jesus. Just right. go. Let me watch one. Here's your intro. <laughs> Let's We're just... back. Did you did you like the intro? Did you, did you <laughs> learn what it was? No, I didn't. I want to learn what it was because I you, as soon as I walked out of the shot, you're like, come back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you don't understand movie magic, right? Okay, well I'm sure you're gonna edit this out, so I, you know it's. I'm fine. not going to. Okay, well leave All it. All of in. this is staying in. All right, I hope you leave it in. I I am. Yeah. So let's just, let me just let me just interview you here. Go for it. Okay. Okay. So I mean. What have you, you been up to this past nothing. week? All right, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing going down. You know. You know what is going down? We've been busy. I'm not gonna lie, we have been. We've been very, very busy. Yep. Yeah. Brennan, Brennan flew out here from North Dakota, as you guys can tell. Yeah, I'm here. Live <laughs> in person. And uh, we've been busy. Yes, 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 yes. We've been we busy. haven't really announced this, have we? At all. Okay. Tell them why we've been so busy. All right, we've been busy. We've been, uh, you know, filming Superstar Two. <laughs> yeah, we have. Superstar 2. Uh, if you didn't watch the first one, it'll be in the link down below. Is that how that works? Will it? Yeah. Oh, okay. And if you want to watch a trailer, or it'll also be it. in the click link right down here. below, huh? I was just telling them they could click it right here, too. Or in the link down below. Okay. The, the movie will be right here, and... No, that's... No, it doesn't work when you do it. I don't know what... Okay, just whatever. Fine. Anyways, so, on. yes, uh, we did start that last year, right? We did start that last year. Yeah. Let's just talk about the process of that. Okay. Well... Let's start with the writing aspect, because obviously we had to write yep, yep, yep. Superstar yeah. 2. One. Yeah. And two, but yeah. one. So we when did we start writing that? Well, I remember it was, we started the, like, the process of like, we wanted to do something that summer, and... Um, it was bigger than ourselves. <laughs> well. No, <laughs> no we, <laughs> well, wanted, to, to we wanted to do a project. Obviously, we weren't sure. I know there's a couple of ideas floating around, like... Like, like there was a music video, maybe some skits, you know, there was a movie idea. And we eventually decided we wanted to do a movie. Um, and then we didn't really know what we wanted to do. We were, we were pitching some ideas. But, like, everything involved props and, you know, setting. <laughs> and so, like, it was just really hard to come up with an idea that was, you know, basically free, if you will, to just kind of 
<laughs> wow. Real I forgot to turn my ringer off. Real professional. You know, this is just like the first one, remember? It and you is. took my phone and threw it? it oh, it's just, it just Beat. Nobody oh. cares. Yeah. No one cares. Sorry, Beat. No, be Beat doesn't watch these. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. So it was hard for, uh, you know, to, to really think of an idea. And then we kind of just stumbled across, you know, of like, we were big into the movie Popstar. Yeah, Pop, Popstar is kind of what started, I think, initially all of this, I would say. And mm -hmm. then also the movie that's on Disney. Starstruck. Starstruck. Yeah. So we took those two ideas and then also we were really big into Brooklyn Nine-Nine at the time, which is a series of TV shows um, or episodes. And I think we were leaning towards something like that, but yeah, we then were... figured out that there was already like just so many things on that, and then yeah. the props, and then the time, and all this type of stuff. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So like we went more towards like the the starstruck and pop star aspect of it, mm -hmm. and you know we just kind of took off with it. We started writing it in January, I believe. I think it was in January. Yeah, and then we wrote that all the way. I mean, I was in college, and you were still in high school at the time, so. Yeah. It took us a while to write it. Um, God, it was... Well, the writing process was all the way up till May. Yeah, I, mean, I we, think... We had to write till... Like, yeah. And then, like, also finding people that were willing, you know, to be a part of this. And which, everyone we had was very, very... Everyone... Was I'm very gonna willing. Yeah, I'm going to say this, like, very up front. Like, everyone that we got was phenomenal for being, like, there and doing and playing their part. Yeah. Um, we did run into a couple of issues, which I thought was cool though. I, I didn't, I'm not mad at anybody at all. And I really enjoyed like experiencing that yeah, because I yeah. think it really oh, yeah. shows you like. It definitely prepared us more for this one as well. Yeah. I think. Yep. Going I mean, into this. Yeah. Super so like the, the snags you ran into, I mean, do we want to bring up snags yeah. later? Okay. We'll, we'll bring them up later. But, um, yeah. So let's just continue the process here. Like in April, yep. I know was when, um, we kind of got to the end of it. May is like when we handed them out to the people. And then we were really just kind of thinking, I mean, I was still in North Dakota, so I couldn't really do much with like setting stuff and camera angles. But kid, you know, obviously you were really good with that stuff and, and kind of knew what you wanted. And, um, so yeah, writing process kind of got over and then we decided that I decided that we needed to do, we need to line up our shots, shooting days and get all of that, which is funny cause we didn't do that for this one at all. no, this one was a lot more like nonchalant in a way. Like it was, it, we were more prepared, but that's just because we're more experienced. I think. Yeah. On what we what we learned from, and we just avoided those mistakes, so we didn't really didn't put as much effort into it. Because I mean, last year we went in basically blind sure. with it. Like we oh. had no idea what. Yeah. Like we thought we had everything prepared. We had shooting days prepared. We had location secured. Yeah, like all that was prepared, and then like it just like somebody couldn't say shoot that day or. Um, you know, we couldn't use this, this location. And, mm. um, that really just kind of, and for me, it's like to see all of that happen at like the lower end of a spectrum. Like, cause yeah. dude, it was, it was such a low, like we, we didn't spend any money on it. Like it was no. so low budget to like the fact that there was no budget. <laughs> like it was the only, the only thing that came out of my pocket was like the plane ticket out here. Yeah. So like, I mean, yeah. And so for me, it was like to run into all those snags and go through all of those steps of like yeah. trying to figure out the solutions and have all of that happen. I don't know. Yeah. It, was, it was just very interesting. I think it was a cool process to see that it still happens at this stage, even at the big production stage. Oh, yeah. yeah and I definitely. think the biggest thing, too, is we ran into is kind of commitment from mm -hmm. people. Um which I totally understand. I mean, we're, I was in high school at the time. He was in college, and then the rest of the people were in high school. So the commitment was not as grand as to someone that's going to get paid thirty grand to be in a movie. Or, well, yeah, I, I mean, know. but for, for being free and not being paid, like, their commitment I thought was really well. I mean, I, I obviously want to shout out the people that did it and thank mm -hmm. them. Like, you know, like Mandy, Burke, Mandy you know, Burke, Remy. Remy. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> you, you want to know the name? I don't know these people. Yeah, it, it was it was Ben Burke. He worked on camera quite a bit. Cole, Cole Brooks, Brennan Weiner, Mandy Burke, Remy Burleson, like those guys made everything Kevin happy. Kevin Swarner, don't forget about him. Kevin Swarner, can't forget yeah, about him. Can't, can't he forget about is Kevin. back for Superstar Two. Just to let you know. He is back. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to do a little spoiler at the end here. You want to? Yeah. Okay. 
We might. Well, I don't know. No, we'll see. No. If you haven't seen the first <laughs> one, you got to go see it. It's but let's go through the process. So w- writing the thing was was the biggest, I think that was the biggest time-consuming thing. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Because we had to figure out, after we wrote it up until May, once we had the script done, then we could start figuring out shoot days, um, what we needed to shoot on what day, who we had that day, and all these different locations and stuff like that. But the thing was is that we only had a time frame to shoot, and that was two weeks. Two weeks with Brennan, one week with Cole. So we had to get all the scenes that Cole was in done in one week, mm-hmm. and the rest uh, done in that span of two weeks. And that's the same with now. We have two weeks, and Cole's not here for this for yeah. at I all. Mean, obviously, like, you know, we'll film half of it basically in Fargo. Yeah, we, we worked some stuff out, and we're going to do some stuff in Fargo and bounce around locations there too. So it should work out good. Uh, yeah, which is nice too because it gives us a lot more time just to hang out here, mm-hmm. and, you know, and chill. Because like last time I remember, it was just kind of go 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 go. To it was lo- location. It was go and go go, and then it was also stressful because we had to figure out because of the snags. Yeah, yeah, and like it, you know what? I think the snags really made it more rewarding in the end when it came out. I agree. Um, it, it does look a little bit more weird because we already had some stuff shot when we ran into the snags. But, like, in the end, I think it was much more rewarding just to kind of see that we persevered over it and, you know. For sure. And stuff like that. So that was a lot of fun. And then now for this one, I think it'll be more of, like, uh, more experienced because I think with, like, the acting in the first one was, you know, <laughs> was kind of ferocious. I think this one is a lot yeah. more. Um, we ju- well, like... I mean, Brennan said it before, but we jumped into this blind, like yeah. straight blind, um, never really acting. I mean, I've had YouTube, but like that's not acting. And so, for me, it was trying to figure out like who we were playing, yeah, you know what their motivation was. And as I progressed in my year of senior year this year, I learned more stuff about that. Yeah. But back then, no, I didn't know anything. Well, yeah, and, and like, Mandy was really good, and so was Remy. And I think the only people that I was concerned about in the very beginning was basically myself you and, and you. Yeah, yeah. And like, if you watch it back, and Cole, but well, like, if you really watch it back, time. like it was just, like the parts that look like obviously Remy, Mandy, Kevin, mm-hmm. Claire, they all did like great jobs, and, and they Claire. Were, yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot to thank her. But thanks. Claire. Like, thank you, Claire. <laughs> but you know, well, she, well, she was a very last minute type of thing. She, Cole was already gone before we even got yeah. her to commit because we had other people, and obviously like that that just kind of fell through, and stuff like that. But um, like they all played the part very well. I know Mandy was very prepared, which was awesome. Mm-hmm. So Remy was, was very Remy. prepared. Kevin was prepared. It was just kind of like all more know. prepared than us. Yeah, absolutely. Like we we practiced these lines like over the phone, like over the course of like May and June. And mm-hmm. stuff and, um, but yeah, they they were beyond. They had it all memorized, hundred percent, and like we yeah. we were definitely did not. No, this one I I know we haven't practiced as much still, but like just because the process, we picked it up. Blake Dotson, front room, thank him. Blake, thank Blake, you. Thank you so much, dude. Forgot I know he that. watches these too. Oh boy, Blake, dude, thank you, <laughs> dude. Good guy. You did very. You did. Yeah, and he taught us some stuff that know. really helped out. Yep. For like you know different and method, that was methods. Nice. Yeah, different me- methods of acting, which is really cool. So that really helped us. That's I think. the thing. We we had a little bit of dabble of like everything. We had mm-hmm. we had, I think Remy, me, you, and Cole jump onto this new and like kind of just like yeah. experience. You know, Remy did very well because you know he was committed to this and like I respect him so much for that, as well as everybody else. But then Manny came in, you know, she she was, I mean, she's, look at her. I mean, she's just a natural born, like, you know, mm-hmm. she's yeah. just such a playful spirit. So her being in that was very, uh, it's just easy, I feel like, for her. Um, yeah. If not, she made it look easy. Well, Blake made it look really easy because, like, and for Blake, like, he didn't even have the script. Well, that's what I was going to say, too. Of, yeah. And Blake, yeah, that was another thing that we ran. <laughs> oh, man. There's so many things that, like, happened, but it wasn't, like, I don't know. It was bad, but it wasn't like whatever. Anyways, yeah, and Blake jumped in there. He did his thing. Uh, phenomenal job. And, yeah, and he came from a background of acting as well because yeah, he was yeah. in theater for high school. And, now, and he, so, now he's in Hollywood. Yeah, now he's in Hollywood making it big. <laughs> and uh, But, yeah, so that the, the diversity on that 
Yeah. I feel like was very was very good. I mm-hmm. think in the long, I think in the like the stretch of things we had only those people. I mean, it was funny because the people that we had like very committed, which was only like not a lot of actors, but like Remy and Mandy, like we put them in such short parts. Yeah. When like we should we could have expanded them out. We should have expanded their parts so, more and stuff because they were and, so committed and learned their lines mm-hmm. and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they did a great job, and I, I think the people, there's some people that are coming back, and then there's some new people mm-hmm. in the new one here, so I think it'll be the a lot spoilies. of fun. <laughs> well, that, you know, but it'll be, <laughs> I don't know what that was, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so spoilies. Well, isn't that what Jake does? I, maybe. Jake Peralta, Andy yeah. Sandberg. Anyway, Andy sorry. Sandberg. So, yeah, that was fun, and then now just kind of prepping for this one, um, taking mm-hmm. it a lot more easy. What um, I will say, I mean, I, are we are we done talking about the first one or no? Oh, I mean, if there's anything else you want to bring up about it, I mean, just, just there's watch the it. snags that we haven't really gone yeah. through. We can okay, go well, through let's those. talk about the snags quick. Okay. So let's start with the location problem. Location problem. Yeah. Very good one. So, Brent and I planned all of this out. We asked my. Let's well, not use names here. No. Okay. Right. We asked. Okay. We asked my family and just different people for locations, and they said yes, we got you. And then we started filming there. We had some hiccups here and there. It's, it's not important. But uh, we learned that one of our locations dropped. And that location drop was very important to me. Mm-hmm. Because I think that was going to sell some of the part of the aspect of um, our movie. Yeah. And yeah just that. Yeah, yeah, of course. And um, I think that's it for location. I mean, we really only had one. Well, only two. Two. Two spots, yeah. So two spots that dropped. But uh, we made it work, and we mm-hmm. figured it out. And I and I will say that through a lot of this, I mean, Brennan, like you, persevered all of this. Like, yeah. You persevered through all of it, and you were like, no, like let's just keep going. We can figure out this. Just like we'll film in the basement and this and that. And so, so that was very, um, what's it called? Um, I don't know. But it was just like it was needed. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. And then, you know, we kind of. What was the other things? Well, the other thing was just, like, character drops for uh, a character that's in the movie and stuff. I mean, obviously, mm-hmm. we don't want to say, like, <laughs> names or anything, no. but, but like, it's just, it just yeah. It's hard when people are busy with schedules and Yeah, and, and that's like what that. we figured out. Yeah. And that's what we figured out yeah. is that we can't, we can't have these people. And that was the hardest thing, too, is, like, just having these people commit. And I don't blame them at all because well, no, it's, I like... Mean, Job job comes first, or you know yeah. whatever your fun time. Like they're willing to be in this mm-hmm. and put in their time and stuff. So you really can't blame them for no. you know, if they're busy working or you know mm-hmm. or just trying to you know have a good summer, like so. Yeah, and that was the hardest. That was the hardest thing. But yeah, that was I think that was our biggest thing. I mean, yeah. we dropped we had to drop two locations, but I think the but yeah the character, character was the most worrisome because this character um, it was crucial. Well, yeah, it was pretty crucial, but. Like, that was just kind of the thing, because, like, we couldn't drop the character, and so... We also dropped a scene. Yeah. We we had to drop a we scene. We had to drop a scene. I remember you, like, we just couldn't get the, couldn't get it done, but, like, mm-hmm. like, we tried, you know, to get people... It was, like, where we needed, like, a lot of extras for. Yeah. And stuff, and just kind of fell through, which, you know, it's... So it makes it a little less, you know, thing, like, you know, you have to tell it rather than show it type of thing, but... Uh, I think it overall went. Jeez. There's bugs out here. I know. Yeah. There it is. You see that bee that flew by like I, I, a couple seconds they're ago? They're going to hear it, I feel like. Yeah, they probably will. They probably heard that dog walking in the back, too. Probably. He's gone now, I think. He's gone. <laughs> Anyways, no, and, uh, yeah, dude, what did we, I mean, it was it was a scene. We had location, a character, yeah. uh, cameraman, and um, I think that was about it for snags. Yeah, yeah, and it, but well, all of that, like like Brennan happened said before, right away, like in the first week. Yeah, like so, like it yep. was just kind of like all hit us at once. I remember like we we were discussing like should we even do this? Should we keep on with it? Yeah, and there then, was a time. Yeah, which I'm glad we did. And then you know, the the way the the story ends, it kind of needs another one. So that's really why we wanted. And that's to, why we left it open. Yeah, like you know? in case it was never going to be another one. Like it, you, the audience gets to choose how it ends. Almost, I mean now it's just. The second one it has yeah, a, no. has an ending, but yeah. like it'll be, I think a lot more of a closure type of ending. Oh no, for sure. You know, and I think with this one too, like there's, I mean, you guys said 
you you guys should expect. Um, I don't want to say a lot more, but I th- I think that they're gonna like the story, of. Um, oh yeah, this the story's a lot more. I think because now our care of now our characters are developed. Yeah, I was gonna say like they're established, mm-hmm. and we have everybody that. Like there's some know. new there's some new characters that need to be established, and I, I'll I'll be honest, like we ran into a snag with this one already, like yep. with the writing process with with Coley's in the first one and. Just you know, wasn't able to come out, and so we had to like, kind of like some work some things Thanks around. Thanks, Cole. <laughs> <laughs> he watches these too. Yeah. Yeah. He's your biggest fan. He's my biggest fan. Yeah. He is. No, I know. He, he's he's already made it this far. So thank you, Cole, for watching it. Yeah, you did very good. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's a sad that you can't be out here on the podcast. I was really yeah. hoping. You'd and be it's not windy here this time. It's not. All right. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know that. So. That was another thing. Weather. Um, oh, weather. It's just things that you cannot control. plan for. Yeah. And control, and it's like. I don't know. I think that's something to learn. But like you said, all of that, no matter, like, I wouldn't take, I mean, it sucked in, in the time, but, like, I wouldn't take any of those things back because of the fact that I think it made our film and, like, like, the process between us, like, way stronger. Yeah, and definitely way more rewarding. Yes. That we had those snags. And now yeah. it just, it's just going to be a lot more of, like, a comforting thing once this one mm-hmm. ends. Just, you know, like, the whole story is complete. And stuff, and you know, because like, I yeah, guess, now yeah, you know, if, if now you haven't you guys seen know it, Cody, yeah, yeah, and, like if you haven't seen it, like then you gotta go watch it. But like, yep, go yeah. watch it. But if people have watched it and know the ending, like this next one here is gonna be a lot of fun mm-hmm. and a lot more um, stuff. And it's really cool because um, we got some new people in it that are really gonna be a lot of fun that you know that we've played online with over the years yeah. and stuff. So, like, I kind of have a connection to them in a way, so it's more. You know, easier to film with like people you're comfortable with. It and is, stuff. yeah. Not and that, I think we're very, yeah. then. Um, but yeah, for I know what you're talking about, like, cause versus, versus the first time, it was like it's kind of like, uh, you know, how do you act and yeah, of, yeah, yeah. But but for this, it's like yeah, uh, the people. What was I gonna say, dude? Um, the people now, like the characters that we have, I can't. I, I was going to say it, but I can't say the character that we have. Uh, it just, it made it, like, more fun. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. And now it's just a lot easier, too, because, like, being in front of the camera. I know the, our first scene we shot, or the first one, was with Blake and I. And, um, mm-hmm. and you know, Blake obviously having a... That's the, another thing. You don't shoot in order. We never, we never shoot in order. So, you know, if you... Yeah. We'll shoot scene 10. We'll shoot scene 2. You never shoot in order, but yeah. So it was, it was scene ten that we shot first or whatever with Blake and I, and um, it was it was rough because he comes from like a theater background, you know, and, and <laughs> was, go, was going to a Hollywood school for acting, and meanwhile I've never been in front of a camera before, so like obviously he blew me out of the water and stuff, like which you know, but he was very good at like so, telling you what to yeah, do and yeah, encouraging yeah. you and yeah yeah, yeah yeah yeah. So we you know we had a conversation about like just different types of acting that day, so it ended up working out really really well. Yeah, that no, was good. The only thing that really sucked about that location it was like an hour and a half away. It was terrible. We had, and, and like, that was early in the morning. Too. It was like early. We left at like seven. <laughs> <laughs> seven. <laughs> we left at seven, guys. We are committed. Uh, no. <laughs> that was another thing. I should have made some up. We left at four in the morning. Four thirty in the morning and got out there at five. Yeah, it was. Well, six. yeah. <laughs> got out there at six. We made it happen. Didn't start eating breakfast till seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe no, uh, well, I was gonna say another snag though. I just remembered his audio. Oh, audio is rough. Well, we had like a God. boom mic like right away. Yeah. And then that just kind of fell apart because of, you know, it was somebody's. Yeah. I don't know. I don't even remember what happened. But it like, was the, it was the cameraman, and then and then he dropped, and so then we didn't have the boom mic anymore. And I could have oh. got the audio levels. I could have got the audio, but since I knew that we had to shoot the rest of the scenes, I was like, it's not going to look, it's yeah. not going to sound the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in and the like, end, we had to go through that. But, like, now you have, like, a better camera. And that, too. It, like, his camera before. Upgraded. Like, it was, yeah. It was a good camera, but, like, the audio. It was, yeah. Well, the problem was, whenever I was, like, holding the camera, like, I had my finger over, remember that? Like, yeah. I always hold it like this. Well, because the mic was on top. And I'd hold, and I'd, I have big hands, so, like, yeah. Hold the camera and like my. It was just like three holes. It wasn't. And like if we'd a, film the scene, uh, and a kid would come watch it back, and then my head, my finger would be over the speaker <laughs> or the mic, and he's like, "Well, now we got to redo it." Yeah. Yeah. So, stuff like that. So, 
And there was like a, it was like hard to like stay in character, like the bloopers. Like there was a lot of bloopers that didn't actually make it into your blooper video. No. Like it was crazy. We had a lot. Yeah. I think I think that's one thing that we're gonna try to do this this time too, is just film longer. Yeah. You know, rather than getting our takes. I mean, it's hard. You know, you say that now, but it's like when you're in the moment and you're trying to get stuff crossed yeah. off the list. Yeah. You're just going, 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 trying to get it cut off, or either racing daylight or racing a time frame, or yeah, yeah, yeah. and all this different stuff. So it's very, uh, yeah, it can get. Well, we just get don't... close really tight. Yeah. Another thing is <laughs> close, really <tight. laughs> close really tight. <laughs> <laughs> close really fast. I don't know, dude. Whatever. Yeah. Well. Glad you got this yeah. under control. Yeah, you keep going. You keep talking. I'm gonna check my phone. Yeah, you go on Instagram. I'll, I'll tell okay, the story. Okay, you got it. Yeah. Also, like just filming around people. Really, we filmed something yesterday downtown, and it was it was Saturday, so it was it was like 80 degrees. So it was like really hot, and pe- so a lot of people were obviously downtown, and we were filming something, and just you gotta, you know, like right away, like we're like oh boy, people are gonna be watching us, and then you know. Yeah, and it wasn't like that at all. No, I was surprised. Like, yeah. When we just got, when you get like into the zone, because like, you're, you're sitting there trying to remember your lines, you're not. That was the biggest thing for me. Yeah. It's like, and I think, and I think the new actor that we had to, um, both of them, it's like, it's, Jesus. There's some crazy drivers in Coeur d'Alene, let me tell you. Oh, you got up. Yeah, I got to hit record again. Wow. Um, because it stops after a while. Oh, that sucks. Okay, you would know that actually if you want. Anyways, um, <laughs> no, yeah. Once you're like, I know it sounds kind of stupid because it's like it's not like Brennan and I are like phenomenal actors or like in the zone when we act, but it it de- you definitely get into a place. And I think the biggest thing for me is just memorizing lines. Like you have to know your lines for each scene, and like, yeah. and you're you're at, you're waiting for the other person to say that exact line. If they don't say that line, then it's very hard to to um feed it back so yeah in in that case like of downtown scenario it's like we were on the basketball courts and um and yeah it was just very like yeah i wasn't even worried i was just like i had to know my lines yeah and like another thing which is nice like obviously like we wrote this and like um we're expecting those lines but like we change them up so like it feels more natural and comfortable so like obviously if Mm -hmm. i write something say for cade and cade wouldn't say it like that then we just you know change it up and write something. Do I need to take that away from you? No. Nope. Okay. So. Yeah. It's, yeah, that was another thing too is improvisation. Um, we figured out that each, like, of our characters, I think, I mean, I don't know. It's it's hard for me to say that, but I was going to say that, like, both of our characters, at least for me, is, like, based off of who I am as a person mm-hmm. and who I would be as Cody Winters. Yeah, yeah. Because the problem for us is that we don't know like our levels and our and our skills yet. Totally. Yeah, of course not. And so the only the only experiences that we can grasp from is from our lives. Now I think, which I don't know if that's. Anyways. Yeah, like, I think every character is really kind of based off of themselves in a way. Like mm-hmm. you know, like obviously they like, had to be at some like, point. Yeah, like Remy's a really funny guy. So obviously he plays Ryan in the first one, and it's phenomenal. And job. He just he played the part really well because Ryan was kind of like you know like kind of like a dumb humor type of guy, and Remy nailed it perfect. <laughs> I don't he's they... just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what you just said. Yeah, well, Remy, did you hear that, bud? Yeah, Remy doesn't. Brenda thinks you're dumb. R- Remy and I don't watch these. Okay, you kidding me? I don't okay. watch them. Remy doesn't watch them. All right, all right. Well, if you if you do, Remy, drop a comment down below. Let me know that you watch these. <laughs> no. No, Remy played a really good job in that. I think the people. Congratulations that did, on win, on winning. Uh, Remy didn't win. Oh, Ryan did. Congratulations on second place for prop kick. Oh, won. homecoming king. You won homecoming king, didn't you? You won homecoming. Yes, but congratulations, prom, Remy. Problem with somebody else. You know. All right. Well, you know. Now you're just giving. It, yeah, you called him dumb, and now you're just like messed him up with somebody else. Remy's a good guy. I like Remy a lot. Yeah. He's funny. Good guy. I didn't mean to say that. Uh, so. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so you can just take take that out. Uh. Yeah, just take that out. I didn't mean to say that. Good guy, Remy. He still follows me on Instagram too. I'm impressed. That's good. Yeah, I had followed him like six months ago. No, okay, I still follow you, Remy. It's a good guy. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Oh shoot. What else? What else were we talking about? No, I want to call Mandy out though. She never followed me back. So Mandy, I'm, call, I'm calling you out right now. You didn't follow me back on Graham. So on the Graham. On the Graham. So we call it back in Nodak. No, okay. Let's 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 move on to something else now. Let's uh, you know. Okay. So yeah, if you haven't seen Superstar, 
down in the link below. Just go watch it. I mean, I mean, it's it's, it's not the it's best hard thing for ever. me to yeah. say that because you know, ah, I mean, rough days back then. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's, go it, watch it. But yeah, you know, it's obviously it's not a. So you're ready for the second one. Yeah. But if you have watched it, thank you for watching it. Um, this is the official release announcement of Superstar Two. Of Superstar Two. What's next? I didn't know where to learn the full title. But okay, well that's it. the full title. Superstar okay, Two. There you go. What's next? Because that is the question. What's next for what's Cody? Next? And what's next for Ben? And what's next for the rest of the cast? So, that's <laughs> yep. <you know. laughs> nobody gives a. Sh oh, I wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> nobody, <laughs> nobody cares about the rest of the cast. Just me and Cade. Oh, okay. Yep. Right, let's move on. We're the only ones that matter. <laughs> Anyways, uh, All right, let's move on. Let's move let's on. Let's move on. Okay, let's talk about some other stuff. Well, um, triple play. We go on this week or what? Triple play. <laughs> we won big. Um, that, if you haven't seen that vlog down in the description I, below I like okay i'm being serious and i don't mean any offense to anybody that was in my vlogs before but those triple play or not the triple play, the vlogs that you you and i did when you came out for my birthday hands down had to be the best he's just saying that because he uh some kid noticed about triple play no <laughs> he was there when that happened okay oh, boy. <laughs> but that wasn't the reason why no, I, I do like I do like your other vlogs. They too. looked really yeah, good, though. Yeah, yeah. I miss I miss your vlogs. I think you start vlogging again. I I, I was thinking about doing it when you're out here. Yeah, well, so we'll start doing it. Well, we got the movie. <laughs> it's true. That's the problem. That, the point yeah. is, let's go back to char okay. character development character. because I was thinking about this, and I think Ben's and Cody's relationship, when we were first designing it, I don't, I don't think that we that we meant to do it. How we actually are. Did you mean to do that when you were writing? Because Brennan did write most of it. I don't remember. I mean, Ben is a lot older of a character than Cody. Mm -hmm. Ben's like three or four years older. I'm obviously that sad. I don't know that off the top of my head. But, and, like, I'm obviously like two two years older than you. Yeah. So, in a way, kind of. And they have kind of like that unbreakable friend bond friendship. So, in a way, yes. I don't know if I intended it to be that way. I mean, probably not. But no, yeah. But it definitely turned out that way where it's. But that's what I'm saying. Like I think that's where I, I, I think I took our relationship. I don't know if you can even see it in the film, but in the first one at least. But like, our relationship and just amplified that to see, you know. Yeah. Because I I think that really helped me like realize who Ben was, even though it was gonna be easy to act with you. Yeah, I because I, of how close well, we are. But I think I think like Cody is based off of you too, but like, I mean, Cody has like a terrible sense of judgment in a way. Yeah. Where, where I think you have obviously a really good sense of way judgment. Way better. So, so yeah, I, I don't want to like say like, if you watch the movie and let's see the, <laughs> see the <laughs> that Cody does, that it's I don't want me. you to like, you know, it's be like, oh, Cade would do that. So, but I do call you Cody a lot, actually. Have you ever noticed that? No. I, I've called you, you Cody. You mean like, like just when we're hanging out? Me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've called you Cody. I don't know. Yeah, but sometimes you do. It's really weird. You do it as a joke, don't you? Huh? No. <laughs> oh, you do. No. Just, I, I just always assume yeah. you do it as a joke. Oh, yeah. No, it's really weird, though, because, like, oh, yeah. I never intended this, but, like, like in this, like, for the characters, like, Cade plays oh, Cody. Dude, good point. Brennan plays Ben. Remy plays Ryan. And then, um, Claire plays Chloe. And, and it's, Mandy like, li plays Liv. Oh, wait, well, it doesn't work. And, and, uh, Blake Dodson plays Chris. But, you know, it's... I think they see the pattern. It's only two out of five. Three out of five. Wow. Three. Yeah. Nick. No. Cole. What? Cole plays Nick. That's not, that's not C, C and C. We're talking about like Claire and I know. Chloe. That's oh. what I'm saying, but oh. they don't know the pattern. Oh, gotcha. saying like they can understand the pattern, not of however many there yeah. are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I was gotcha. right. <laughs> yeah, it was never intentional. That did not like... need to be explained. No. There's, there's you know. four characters that have... The same name as their real life first name. So, so just you know, think about that next time you're thinking about cons conspiracy theories. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We can I'm do more than just podcast. superstar. You're gonna be here another Tuesday. You want me? Do you want me to be on back to back? Okay. They probably do want me to be back to back. Yeah. Look but there's somebody that's always disliking these podcasts. If it's you, I swear to God. Yeah. What the All hell? right. <laughs> Don't like dislike this podcast. There's. I think there's a dislike on every single one of my videos. On uh, well, not okay. I don't want to say on which one because I don't want to get a dislike. <laughs> But this, you know. Wait, you know what one there's not? Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you with the Don't camera. Don't say it. I'll tell you Don't say it. I'll tell you for the camera. Don't say it. I'll bleep it. You'll bleep it? Yeah. Okay. It's, uh. 
Yeah. Yeah, I don't want that getting a dislike. No. Because, you know, I, you're a good guy. But so. other than that, there's like a dis- legit I know dislike. who it is, too. Who? Oh, I can't call him out. Is it Cole? No, Cole likes everybody else. Cole, like, actually call me and say, like, like and talk about it. Like, I'm, I'll call him, and he's, like, in the background. I can hear the podcast playing. I'm like, are you li- watching the podcast? He's like, yeah. What? <laughs> this will be good. Um, I'm not going to go into this now. Oh, he's back. <laughs> no, he's over. Hey. Okay. okay. We're calling it. We're calling it. But anyways, I have a surprise for you guys. I have a surprise for you guys. Um, once we get closer to the summer or summer ending, it involves you. Don't be stupid. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. He's gonna tell me after the camera turns off. No, you know what the surprise is. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Timeless Tuesday. I hope there wasn't too many birds and planes and cars and dogs, dogs and things <laughs> going on in the background. Uh, yeah, we hear you, bud. Okay. <laughs> He will be on next week. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get him out here. And, uh, yeah, as always, please leave a like, drop a comment, share this video with your grandma. and uh, My grandma doesn't watch these. Well, then share them with her because I tell you every <laughs> single time. Obviously, you haven't watched them because I tell you. I tell you so. No, okay, I want to get this out there. I do watch them, okay? Yeah. I, no. I do, I do hey, watch Hey, listen, you don't... I, you know, it's already fine. You're, you already Ro- paid for I, your Ro- phone. Robin you needs- already paid for your plane to get out here. It's fine. Robin needs to know. Anyways. Ro- Robin, Robin. I watch. She doesn't watch these. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Listen, just share the video. <laughs> you know, grab the helicopter and we're out. All right. We'll see you next week on Timeless Tuesday. I'm Brennan. That's Cade. Adios. Amigos. Bye. You, you just needed something me. I can show you my world. We can go through it all. Just leave it up to me